What's up, what's up, what's up? Roblox Whoa here. How are you doing, my friends? Today, we're gonna talk about one of the famous Roblox content creators, Lisa Gaming. She's quite famous for being hated in the Roblox community because of her attitude problems. In this video, we're gonna break down everything about her and what made people hate her in general. Keep in mind that our content is based on what these YouTubers are doing, along with our own personal views of it, be it positive or negative. But before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you something. What's the full name of Lisa Gaming? The person to get the correct answer will have their comment liked and pinned. The answer to this question is hidden somewhere in the video. Without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Number one, she starts drama with a lot of YouTubers. Lisa has had controversies with Kaneko Kitten, Flamingo, Parlo Gaming, Lofi, Unihydra, Creekcraft, Quackity, Dream, and Green Lego Cats 123. These are her most notable ones with Feud with Kaneko Kitten. On April 27th, 2020, a screenshot of her titled I Got Banned on Bloxburg was shared on Reddit and discovered by Kaneko Kitten through various Twitter messages. This prompted him to upload a reaction video to her ban from Welcome to Bloxburg on April 28th, 2020. On April 29th of 2020, she responded to Kaneko Kitten with a video called Response to Kaneko Kitten, Shade, in which she threatened to sue him for being rude. One day later, she uploaded another video called I'm Suing Kaneko Kitten, in which she roleplays the process of filing a lawsuit. On May 1st of 2020, Kaneko Kitten uploaded a video of him reacting to her lawsuit, commenting that he was a fan of her channel regardless of her threats. He compared her malicious intentions to Julius Cole's earlier videos. On May 11th of 2020, she made a video why I should be unbanned from Bloxburg, explaining eight reasons why she should be unbanned on Welcome to Bloxburg, one of the reasons being that Kaneko Kitten made her delete houses. Feud with Lofi On July 15th of 2020, British YouTuber Lofi was copyright claimed and Lisa was suspected. The next day, Lofi posted a video to his channel in which he exposed Lisa for exposing his IP address. When the video premiered, Lisa was angry and made statements wanting revenge. Feud with Unihydra On September 27th of 2020, she outed and blocked YouTuber Unihydra on Twitter due to his slandering of her. In a series of following tweets, she claimed to have news of him and called him racist due to his usage of the N-word in a Discord chat. Unihydra dismissed both claims, stating that it was acceptable as he is of mixed race and that she had called him the N-word herself. Feud with Some Ordinary Gamers On December 20th, 2020, Some Ordinary Gamers posted a tweet saying that Roblox is the only gift they're giving. Lisa felt offended and uploaded a response video 10 days later saying that he's sexist and racist as Mutahar made fun of one of her fans' videos and the Lisa-ism video says that they're cringe. Number two, she griefs over players a lot. She is permanently banned from the Roblox game Welcome to Bloxburg for deleting other players' houses. She has faced backlashes for this. She claimed that she did nothing and the reason why she deletes their houses is to give them what they deserve and teach them a lesson and because Kaneko Kitten made her do it. Number three, she is a misandrist. On November 3rd, 2020, Lisa created a thread of tweets revealing that she was a misandrist and supported the death of all men. She claimed that she wanted to execute all people of the male population except for a few thousand, which she said would be kept in cages and forcefully to do inappropriate things to them. She continued this thread saying that men are nothing but thirsty creeps and all wars are the fault of men. She claimed the concept of misandry as common sense, arising in a surge in haters. Later, she called all men animals. Number four, she's pretty toxic in playing with other people. On January 31st, 2021, Pink Leaf made a video about him and Lisa racing each other in the Roblox game Tower of Hell. In the video, she said that Pink Leaf was cheating and she said that Pink Leaf was an overweight grown man living in his mother's basement. Pink Leaf's other YouTube channel, Ren the Epic, made a video about his side of the video of Lisa and him. 
He stated in that video that he made the video to troll her because she falsely accuses other YouTubers for no reason. He also stated that he was being kinda stupid and childish. Lisa and her friends were trying to sabotage Pink Leaf. Lisa also betrayed Pink Leaf with the uploading schedule so that he had to upload his video fast. Lisa posted her side of the video called I Race Pink Leaf in Tower of Hell and won. He raged. Lisa cut parts of her racing Pink Leaf to make it look like she won the race against Pink Leaf, even though Pink Leaf's video that came before Lisa's video showed up that Lisa lost the race. Number five, she makes really bad content. She uses the iMovie app on an iPad to edit her videos. Her background music usually consists of copyrighted pop songs sped up and pitch shifted around 75%. This feature is commonly used among mobile iMovie editors. While generally having the iMovie app isn't a bad thing for editing, the amount of hatred she gets from all the Roblox communities that knows her is from toxic attitude. Feuds and beefs with other YouTubers and Roblox content creators are primarily one of the reasons she's so damn hated. The way she treats people is just something you can't really tolerate. However, it can be cured later on when she's a grown adult and will reflect on her actions. But for now, unfollowing her channel will be the most suitable course of action. That's if you want. The more we give attention to her toxic behavior, the more she'll likely to milk all the clout and hate responses. Because remember, bad publicity is still publicity. Alright friends, that's it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and comment on the correct answer for this week's question. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Whoa.